Welcome back. You're watching Checkpoint. Thank you for staying with us. Let's continue informing you. Now, the recent wave of anti-government protests by Generation Z has exposed the youth to police brutality, notably harassment, abductions, and in some cases, killings. President William Ruto has repeatedly assured Kenyans that police officers who meted out violence against protesters will be held accountable. However, that remains on paper as hundreds nurse injuries and some stare at the graves of their loved ones who lost their lives during the protest. Our reporter Vera Mora provides us with a status update on the victims of police brutality and their rapidly diminishing hopes for justice. After a day of protest organized by the Change Hungry Generation Z youths, the country wakes up to such videos. All this attributed to police activities in the wee hours. In other words, peace by day, terror by night. And when dawn breaks, these pictures, stories and testimonies make their way to the newsroom and I choose one word to describe them. Heartbreaking. should not have been having a lot of medical appointments. Mimi kugeuka nyuma wakanipiga risasi ya mgu. Na nilishitukia tu kama ganzi, nikanguka chini kapotezo fahamu. Nilijipata niko amref, nikio ni mbebo na mabeshti. So, niko kwenye harakati ngumu. Bile kijana meumia yende, alikuwa kipiga badabuda kidogo na nisupport kidogo kule kupitia watoto. Many of these stories are highlighted. But how many receive the justice they see? Our goal was to go and lay flowers for the people who died there, including Eric Shieni and David Chege, and they have denied us. They have denied the family, the family members, me included, the opportunity for us to lay flowers for our f f fallen soldiers. Lately, the protests have been infiltrated by goons who loot and destroy properties. And some of these unlawful activities happen in the full glare of security and forces. Time and again, President William Ruto has gone on record promising Kenyans that abductions and extrajudicial killings will not be a characteristic of this government. But this remains on paper as the numbers keep rising. The voices of activists who are on the forefront of defending these Kenyans may not be heard as they should be after a recent attempt to arrest some of them. Stop killing us! Stop killing us! Azimio leader Raila Odinga has also been vocal about the violence meted out to the protesters. The opposition chief has demanded that the state clears hospital bills for the victims. All charges against all protesters withdrawn and action taken against police officers who unleashed terror on protesters. It's a release of all people who have been arrested and are in police custody. Before is the dropping of all the pending charges which are pending in courts. Number five is the sacking and prosecution of all police officers who have been involved in criminal violence against innocent Kenyans who are actually exercising their rights as enshrined in the Constitution. Raila's demands come a week after the Director of Public Prosecution cast doubt on the quest for justice for the victims of the protests. The people who took Rex Kanyeke Masai to hospital have not come forward to record statements, including the key witness who was with the deceased during the shooting and who informed the deceased parents after the incident occurred. The CCTV footage showing the shooting does not clearly identify the person who pulled the trigger. I call upon any person with information pertaining to this case, especially the witnesses who took the disease to hospital and those who witnessed the shooting to come forward and record a statement with Ipoa. The intensity of the Generation Z protest has definitely subsided, despite their assert that they will not relent in the quest. 
And as they plan more protests against the government, it is obvious that the confrontation with the security agents will still be at play. And with President William Ruto's pledge of zero tolerance to abductions and extrajudicial killings, the question remains, who are behind the abductions and the killings? And will justice be served for victims of police brutality? Vera Mora, Kitty News, Nairobi. Now, despite significant progress in various areas, persons with disabilities